Guys, we're all gamers here. I know I am. I've seen the Joker movie and I've risen up. But now I'm sitting down because my legs are kind of tired. But what kind of gamers are there out there? Well, today we're going to cover 10 types of gamers that you may encounter online. And let me tell you, some of these are cautionary tales. I'm watching out for you guys, okay? Okay. Well, let's get right into it with number one. Number one, the far too cute gamer. You'll usually encounter this type of gamer in Eastern MMOs, but occasionally you will run into them while playing really anything. They'll often be playing whatever the game's cutest character is, probably some half girl, half cat creature, or maybe a midget, and they try far too hard to be cute, and it ends up being kind of creepy, and I don't like it. They're the kind of person that when they see you log in, they'll say something in chat like, Ooh, ooh, so nice to see you, throws cookies at you, colon three. You will then be overwhelmed with an almost fatal amount of cringe. Yeah, now I know what you're thinking. It's probably just a girl who's a fan of anime, Nixium, come on. Guys, it's not. Trust me, it never is. Either way, if you run across this character while playing a game, just sort of nod your head and then keep on moving. Don't even pretend to eat their fake cookies, because who knows what's in them. Number two, the noob. We all gotta start somewhere, right? The noob is the guy who has just picked up the game. He doesn't know how anything works. He doesn't know the lore. He barely even knows how to open his inventory. And we love him. The noob is a simple soul lost in a new world. So why not show him some compassion, point him in the right direction, spare a moment to give him some tips or go a step further and take him under your wing. Now think about it. It would be like having your very own squire, a bumbling squire that doesn't know how to do anything, but a squire, kind of cool, right? That is of course, if the noob is on the same team or faction as you. Otherwise, he's cattle fit for the slaughter, and you show him no mercy as you tear the limbs from his screaming body. Because remember, the weak should always fear the strong. Ooh! Number three, the creator. Have you ever been playing some building game like Minecraft, and you're just putting the finishing touches on your dirt house, and then you look over at your neighbor and he's fully recreated Hogwarts castle from Harry Potter? Yeah. That guy is the creator, harnessing the power of his raw talent and autism. The creator dedicates himself to wasting his time, I mean, using his time to build digital marvels. It doesn't matter what game he plays, as long as he can build something impressive. He's a gentle soul, determined to hone his craft and aim for perfection. He's a true artisan, yeah. It's a shame that his gentle good nature will leave him open to being attacked by those who care nothing for his wondrous creations, however. Well, it's a shame for him anyway. Number four, the destroyer. You ever been playing some building game like Minecraft and you're putting the finishing touches on your dirt house when you see that your neighbor has fully recreated the Hogwarts castle from Harry Potter and you think to yourself, fuck that guy and you proceed to burn his stupid castle down, then you, my friend, you might be a destroyer. The destroyer is someone who cannot create anything of real value. They try to conjure beauty, but they fail, and so they turn to ravaging other gamers' creations instead. The destroyer shows no mercy, no remorse, no pity. All will be reduced to ash by his or her hand, but why, you may ask. Why does the destroyer do this? Are they jealous? Are they so hideous that they must defile the beauty of creation? No, it's just fun to fuck with people and watch stuff explode. Truly, this is the duality of man in Minecraft. Number five, the whale. Guys, you ever wondered how so many terrible games crammed full of microtransactions stay afloat? Well, it's because of whales. Now don't get me wrong, plenty of us treat ourselves to a cosmetic item here and there when we see it on the cash store. But a whale, they'll just buy everything, regardless of the quality. Oh, a, a new mount that kind of looks like a dog? Gotta have that. Oh, a player home that looks like a giant fucking turd? Gotta have that too. Oh, a tattoo that looks like a smiley face that can only be applied to my character's left ass cheek? Already got it on all five of my accounts. 
I feel like there must be a lot of people out there with more money than sense, or maybe they've just discovered that money is power and they're just trying to dominate in every pay-to-win game out there. Who knows? But I will caution you all. Keep your money in your wallet, in your brains, in your head, not in your leg. Brains don't belong in the leg. That's not where they go. And you don't want to be a whale, so hold on to your money. Number six, the siren. What hot-blooded male stallion hasn't fallen head over heels for a pretty girl and absolutely ruined himself? It's a tale as old as time, so it's no surprise that it happens in video games too. You know how it is, boys. You got a clan or a guild with your brothers. You're fighting monsters, you're clearing raids, you're crushing enemy players beneath your feet. And then, and then, they invite that girl to join. And it's not just any girl. It ain't like one of you ladies watching this video. It's a goddamn siren. All of a sudden, your brothers start acting strange. Some start competing for her attention, and the siren revels in it. She does some light flirting, and soon she has the fools wrapped around her finger, boosting her character, doing errands, giving her free stuff. And should you or any clear-headed brother point out that she's not even that good at the game, why the hell is she even in your clan, dude? Hell hath no fury. The Orbiters, the White Knights, boom! Ugh. The thing some guys will do for the illusion of Poon. Like hitting the like button. I promise you'll get some if you hit it. Remember, I'm a YouTuber, a handsome YouTuber. You can trust me. Hit that like button for free Poon. Yeah. Number seven, the boom box. Guys, this is probably the most frustrating on this list. Just being honest, the boom box. You ever joined a lobby or a chat room and you're immediately bombarded by some demonic orchestra? That's the boom box. That's who we're talking about. The boom box is a guy who has yet to learn that his mic is more sensitive than my dick during a fifth time a day nut. A man who for some reason refuses to set up a push to talk button and when he speaks, it's like the distorted howling of Satan himself, monstrous, crackling, and completely unintelligible, like the torturous screams of 10 billion wailing souls, all crying out from release from their hellish prisons of fire and blackened lungs. And I don't like it, but there is one clear voice you can hear, and it's your own, as it echoes back because he's sitting too close to his speakers. It's because of this man that the mute button exists. And thank goodness, for otherwise, we would all go deaf. Number eight, the time bomb. You ever join a lobby and the mood just seems off? There's a hungry ass sweaty dude in there breathing heavily into his mic, mumbling about how all day he's been carrying terrible players and swearing randomly. I bet you have. That guy, he's the time bomb. But you know, you gotta be fair to the guy. Maybe he's just been at the gym and his testosterone levels are going wild or something or through the roof, I don't know. Or maybe his mom didn't cook his chicken tendies perfectly. Who knows? I don't know, do you know? No, but what I do know is that all it takes is for one 12 year old in League of Legends to call him gay and he will explode like a 50 megaton bomb. This dude is gonna throw out every curse and slur that you can think of. He's gonna threaten to find, dox, and destroy whoever dares laugh at him and his overreaction to the middle school tier insult. Because after all, he is a trained special ops soldier. He said so himself. He even graduated top of his class in the Navy SEALs, and he's been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda with over 300 confirmed kills. You guys get it? You get that joke? Number nine, the guy with a life. We've all met this guy. He's the dude who's gonna remind everyone whenever he's called out for being a bad player that he's got a life. Despite the fact he seems to be online just as much as anybody else. He's just really bad at the game, guys. Kinda like me. This is a nice shirt, isn't it? You should check out my shirts. Hey man, could you uh switch to another role? You're not really helping the team. I don't have time to master another role. I have a life. Hey man, uh, it looks like your damage is pretty low. Could you, could you look up a guide or something? I don't have time to read a guide. I got a life. 
could you maybe uh come better prepared to the raid we need everyone to be performing at the best of their ability i don't have time for any of that uh, any of that crap unlike you virgins i have a life you would think for such a busy guy he would be more responsible and give up video games to focus on the many important things he has going on in real life but he doesn't for some reason huh. how odd it's almost as if he no it can't be number 10 the guy without a life we got a real theme of duality in today's video guys this dude is the opposite of the guy with a life. This dude don't care how many hours he puts into a game, real life comes second to his online reality. He maxes every character, he gets every unlock, every skin, every achievement point and collectible, loses every bit of hair on his head along the way. And this dude, he don't give a damn. He puts hours, days, years into his hobby, all for that sweet online clout. And boy, is he gonna swing it around. He'll let everyone know how good he is at whatever game he is currently playing. He'll make sure you see his rare skins, his rare mounts, pets, the butt cheek tattoos, whatever. He's got them, and you don't. And that's what matters. Some may say his hygiene is probably terrible since he's never away from his computer. Some may call him a neckbeard, a loser, a smelly incel. But is there not something admirable about this man? You could say he is determined, unwavering, unmoving, and so he deserves all the rewards. Not me though. I wouldn't say that, because unlike him, I've got a life! And that brings us to the end of the list, everybody. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on the top 10 types of gamers that you may encounter online. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and hit the bell uploads on this channel. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a dirt house in Minecraft to return to, so I'll be seeing you all in my next video. Take it easy, everybody.